Okay. Here's to make sure we have that for everybody. And the docu if there are ever any documents, I put it with like in the comments, just so you know, just give us time. But we have, I'm so excited to have Shelly on here today. I've admired her from afar. And just so all of you know, this is truly just a gift of the heart and a mm -hmm. go-give thing for any speaker that we ever have. So please don't bombard their emails or their Facebook messenger. We will get you everything. I promise. I just mm -hmm. always want to respect that because there's thousands upon thousands from some of you just signed your agreement. The ink's probably still wet to all the way to national get to be on this call. And Shelly is a leader amongst leaders and she does it the Mary Kay way. And I've been able to admire her from afar and she truly has a go give heart to pour in, in her busy schedule to women of all Mary Kay divisions, all walks of life. And um, I'm just so honored and grateful to have you, Shelly. Thank you so much for taking your time and being willing to pour your wisdom into so many people because ladies, she doesn't really get anything out of this other than just doing a good deed. I mean, really, that's what they're doing. And so I just greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate your time, Fred, and the time to put together what you're going to share with us today. And I don't, I want you to be able to share any accolades that you want to share that, because I, here's what I feel about accolades. I tend to share the things I didn't do versus things I did do. And so, but some people have certain things they're more proud of than others. And so I always let you kind of do that. And again, Shelly, I'm going to go in the background, do the background stuff, and I'm just going to let you take over my beautiful friend. Well, hello, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> so great to see some of my friends on here and some of my new friends, right? So you guys, thank you so much. And Jennifer, thank you for being so go-give uh, to creating a place where we can come and learn and just feel safe, right? Feel like, you know, we can be in the uh, arena of great friends that are going to love us and support us and lift us all the time. And you know, that's what Mary Kay is all about. Today, I prepared a few things. I think it's about 20 pages, actually. The Lord just kept giving me more and more. And I hope today that there's at least one thing that speaks to you, because these are the words that the Lord really gave me today. And I have prayed over these. And I just, again, I just pray that you will be, um, inspired and moved to go out and and be the person that you were created to be. So, you know, success is a process. It truly is. So many times, well, we think that it's falling apart and the goal, well, it's just not happening. And maybe it's just a sign that we should back off and maybe just forget the dream when reality is it's falling together and it's exactly where you need to be. It is walking through the fire that our weaknesses are made strong. Let's take you back to when the pandemic, the pandemic hit in 2019. I remember feeling at a loss. The activity that I had done for many, many years, I will be in Mary Kay 45 years in June, by the way, just so you know, the, the activities that I had done for years and years, I knew that I, it wouldn't be possible. What would I do? How would I be able to work? I asked my husband, what am I going to do? He said, work like you always have, but just do it virtually. I called one of my key consultants who live rural and asked her if she would host an in-person once a month party. And she did. And it was amazing. Great results came from that. But I also, on the other hand, did virtual and learned how to be really good at those platforms. And I created a Facebook group for my consultants and their customers and went live weekly. It created a lot of excitement, sold lots of products and added a lot of new team members. I also had a lot of Zoom parties, which also developed some great results. I had to learn to pivot in a time of uncertainty. Learning to pivot is the key to moving forward in your business. I continued to do parties and lead my unit to the next level. Two and a half years ago, our youngest son, Clay, graduated from high school and went on to college. After raising three boys, attending ball games, marching band, theater, golf meets, and lots of our lots of kids at our home every week, we found ourselves as empty nesters. It was another place for me. I had never been there. It was it was a time that I had to pivot. You know, where, how could I stay here? You know, would I be the same? Could I move ahead? 
Would it be better to stay comfortable where I was or would I pivot? So guess what? We decided to hit the ground running to go for our very first million. You see, your thoughts are so powerful and so are the words that we speak. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So what we think about, we bring about. Do you know the bit in the horse's mouth controls the direction to which the horse goes? Forward, backwards, or sideways? Our tongue also does the same for us. Your unit and your team will go in the direction that they are led. Our life is like a movie and you hold the pin. If you want to create an amazing storyline, you must replace old thoughts with new ones. You will never outperform the belief that you have in yourself and how you see yourself. You must change the story. You hold the pin. Just this shift in thinking will start everything going in the right direction. And once you start believing in yourself, that is where the true miracles happen. Truly. So what changed? I changed. My focus on my first million dollar was three, or excuse me, not three, but six things. Number one, mindset. Having a million dollar mindset, deciding that success happens first in the mind. I committed and decided to start working and not allowing the enemy to distract me with his tactics of discouragement, doubt, and fear, and to stay the course. Number two was time. It's the little things in life that make the biggest difference. I sat down, I made a schedule out that aligned with my priorities. I chose three consultants in my unit and I asked them to book three parties back to back for me to hold. My goal was 1,000 at each and to develop them into a red jacket. And by the way, if you're not a director, you can do the same with your team. And what happened? We did just that. My priorities of God first, family second, and career third. Oh my, how exciting. Was and is very important to me. God first, family second, and career third. So three parties back to back were great and my family and my faith was never sacrificed. Those nine parties led me to more parties and more team members. And number three, parties. Everything happens in the arena of the product. When I do three parties back to back, they watched me do the first one, assist me with the second, and I assist them with the third. Our parties are 45 minutes and no less than $1,000 in sales. I started to tell my consultants, it's just what we do. You just need to get used to it. We demo skincare and skincare sets and supplements. We get referrals and future bookings. We use a closing sheet, no different than anyone else's. You can create your own. After we cleanse, here's what we do. I want you to make a circle. After we cleanse, all right, we're gonna do some supplements. The first thing we do is I put an eye patch or they put an eye patch under one eye. On that same side, we do charcoal mask. On the other side of the face, we do revealing peel. On the throat, we do renewing gel. On the lips, we do time-wise, excuse me, satin lip set. I'm looking at some of you, it's getting me distracted. How are you, Char and Marianne? Sorry. Anyway, hi guys. Anyway, so excited to see you. So I'm going to go back over that again. Okay. Draw a circle. Satin lips on the lips. Eye patches on one side along with charcoal mask. Revealing peel on this side. Microdermabrasion on the hand and renewing gel on the throat. While that is drawing for a few minutes, we do the gift of friendship, the beauty of friendship, the referral game. There's many out there. I've done the same for years. And we get nine referrals from each person. We take that off and we continue through the rest of the skincare. After
after we complete our skincare, we book the second appointment for a foundation and, and color appointment. We need to learn as consultants how to book. Mary Kay said, booking is the lifeline of our business. She said nothing happens until sell, somebody sells something when really nothing happens until somebody books something. Really? You know, I've never met an unhappy consultant with a full date book. How about you? At seminar one year, I was backstage with Mary Kay and a young woman walked up to her and asked her, Mary Kay, how do I book? Mary Kay said, well, how many are you asking, first of all? And she said, four. She said, honey, that's not enough, and gave her the script. You guys, mm -hmm. we have to ask a lot of people to get results. It's numbers. People will disappoint you, but asking a lot will not, because you'll get the, you will get the results that you want. You have to realize that you are just as good when you get no's as when you are when you're getting yeses. And the closer that you get more no's, the closer that you are that you're getting yeses, right? I teach my consultants that failing is good. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Failing is good. You can't climb and you can't get better if you're not willing to fail. You must change the meaning you have given failure. Change it from something bad to knowing that each result, good or bad, is getting you closer to the end result. It's making you better and it's making you stronger. This is how you climb to the next level. Every person that you look up to today, yesterday, and tomorrow have experienced failure. Mary Kay Ash had the bloodiest knees. Failure is good. Say it. Failure is good. If you aren't failing forward, then you're no longer trying. So you, you're not going to be able to continue to climb. So look at failure as just the next step to the next great result. Number four is communication. The priority of a leader is communication. Finding ways to communicate with your team, your unit members, your customers, birthday cards, anniversary cards. As a director, I send a newsletter. I do lots of personal notes, face-to-face, -face, Facebook Live, hybrid. People today are hungry for connection, and our company offers the best in the world. This business is about heart work, not hard work. People want to be heard. They don't care about how much you know. They just want to know how much you care. If you were to take an ear, and I did, I have a picture of this ear. You were to take an ear and put them side by side. It forms the shape of a heart. Interestingly, the word heart, okay, in the middle of heart is ear. The ear is the way to the heart. So if you want someone's heart, learn to listen to him or her. Isn't that neat? But y'all didn't know, did you? The three things that I communicate with my consultants, my team, my unit each week is, number one, reaching new customers. Number two, creating margins, teaching them how to run a profitable business. Number three is simplifying our process. When you do this, you don't have to look for superstars. All personalities can follow the process. Number five is products. Be your best customer. It sounds right, or it sounds easy, right? <laughs> How many of our consultants use the full product line? How many of our team members? Think about it, okay? When they use the product, when you use the product, you will see results, which will build confidence to share the product and the opportunity. Knowledge and skill coupled together is unstoppable. And number six is team building. We build power up teams every month. All teams that reach 2000 wholesale in one month are recognized on a dream team Zoom call with a top director or NSD. 
The team could be one person producing 2,000, such as our girls that max, maxed out double credit. But if you have one recruit and you do two, that's team 2,000, right? Goes all the way up as high as you can go. All team members are invited to the Zoom call. The goal is to teach you how to build a team, how to build strategy, and how to work, work with numbers, how to communicate your activity, work, and increase your activity, which is going to produce income and production from you and your team. Isn't that exciting? When your team member learns the job on this side, then the only thing that changes when you become a director is the title. That is it. Teams recruit players every year, college, high school, and professional sports teams. It is vital for the health of your unit and your team that you're always, always adding new people. You are the coach. You set the tone for your team. Passing it on is so important. It's what Mary Kay asked us to do. When you are in front of six people, you're at a guest night. And I want to say it's not in my notes, but I'm going to say this to Marianne because Marianne's a dear friend. Marianne and I have been in Mary Kay. She's a million dollar director for many years. And Marianne, do you remember all the years of guest nights where we had hundreds of people and it would be an area guest event? And maybe we might have one or two guests personally. Well, see, what I love about this is, is that when you have a party with three to six people, you have six guests. You have six guests. How exciting. So we don't have to have the huge guest nights like we had years ago. We can have them every day in front of us at the kitchen table, whether it's in person or virtual. You know, as I reflect back on the past five years, working through the pandemic, completing our second million dollar year and on target for our third million dollar year, I know, thank you. I know that God's time is always perfect. He's never late. He's never early. He's always on time. I am thankful for having a seeing beyond the now mentality, mentality, and keeping my blinders on and staying focused ahead. This business is so much more than lipstick. The lives, oh my gosh, it's enriching the lives and building relationships for a lifetime. You know, I'm asked so often, Shelly, where is the greatest place you've ever traveled? I know you've been on a lot of trips with Mary Kay. Where's the greatest place you've ever traveled? My answer, the journey. The journey of the detours, the mountaintop experiences, the hills, the valleys have shaped me into the person and the leader that I am today. I love that when we can choose, we can get to choose the way we work our way. We are truly world changers. If you are not where you want to be in your Mary Kay, go hold a party in person or virtually. Share the product and our opportunity. Now, today, you've heard me talk a lot of old school, right? But you see, this is the school that most of us graduated from. And it's taken us to where we are today. Let's embrace it. Let's embrace this opportunity. It is a gift. It is number one in the world. And one woman can, one woman did. Our company and our products are the greatest opportunity in the land, in the greatest land of opportunity. Then, now, and always. God bless. Oh my gosh, that was incredible, incredible. And Shelly, you have had a journey and I, I love hearing you speak anytime I can. And your heart is so genuine and pure and what you pour into others. And thank you for that. And reminding people, we, we don't have to have all the 
glitz and glam, right? It can just be simple. Sometimes we're overthinking it and we're making it way harder on our heads and a bigger deal than it needs to be. Meet a friend, collect some people and wash a face. It's not complicated. It's fun. And so thank you again for your time and your energy today. Um, we have just a quick minute. If anybody, I, I think I got, I think everybody answered everybody's own questions in the chat. I'm looking real quick. I think all of them got answered. Um, real quick, if anybody wants to say anything to Shelly or affirm her or anything your takeaway is, we have time for what? Yeah, go ahead, Jana. I see your hand. Go ahead, sweetie. Um, I just wanted to say thank you because um, I just recently, uh, some people now re recently retired in June. So when I retired, my Mary Kay business was off and going. It was yes, yes, yes. Everything was rolling in. And then all of a sudden now I'm hit, I'm hitting the maybes, the pause, the no's and all this stuff. So I, so I'm back to my director telling her this isn't working. I'm not, you know, the, 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 all that stuff. Right? And she graciously just nods her head and just see us have something else, whatever. But so you telling me that, um, you know, my no's are just as good as my yeses just confirms that it's like, you know what, I'm, I'm still doing the right thing. And then I just, like you said, pivot and uncertainty. And, um, you know, like Callie uh, DeVlander has said, you know, if you heard her speech, when about her, about, you know, the power of yes. So it's like, I feel like I'm probably, I'm doing the right thing, but I'm in a new room or new chat, you know, a new chapter or whatever it is that, you know, I, it's uncertain to me, but it it's still the right thing. You know, I'm still doing right. Cause when I get off, I've got like a list of things I've got Mary Kay things I got to do. And I'm looking at the pile of laundry because I am the maid, the housekeeper, the house, <laughs> um, all that stuff is piling up. So um, thank you. Oh, thank you, so sweet. Thank you. Anybody else real quick before we go? Shelly, hey, I am so excited for you. You and I go way back and it's it, it is such a thrill for me to see you do your first million and then your second million, I think was even more impressive to me than and I'm, I'm excited as can be for you that you're going to do the third and I'm cheering you on. And you do make it so stupid simple that I, I it makes it, it, it inspires me to go back and do the same thing again that we've done for years and get this and get my show back on the road. So thank you for what you had to say today. It means the world to me. You're doing great. I love you. I love you. Ooh, I love that. Well, ladies, don't now bear with me again. I love you all. Thank you so much for last week, Tuner, when giving us that grace because my office girl comes in the beginning of the week, not the end. So she <laughs> will work on it to get this to YouTube. It'll just be my name on YouTube if you or your friends don't have social media. But then I will post it probably wherever y'all saw it the first time. And if I'm part of those groups, that's where I'll post it and make sure it's out there. But I tell you, we usually have it Friday afternoon, but don't hold me to that. Just give us till Monday. Give us a little bit of grace and we'll make sure it's there for you to listen to. I don't know about the rest of you. I need it. I like to hear things over and over and over. And it just helps that way. And Shelly, thank you. Congratulations. And you deserve every ounce and everything you're getting. And thank you all so much for joining today and sharing this Lunch and Learn with all your friends and power partners and units and it's, it's a joy to get to do this for everyone. So I hope everyone has an amazing Thursday. Bye, my friends. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye, ladies.